Is it okay to drive hard on a cold engine or should we wait for the engine to completely warm up to operating temperature before we drive it hard? Or is there a middle ground? Is there a sensible route that all drivers need to take? There's so many videos now on YouTube and so much advice out there. It seems to be one or the other. People belong to this school of thought where you need to be ultra careful with your car or you neglect it and abuse it and it really doesn't matter what you do. So we've already discussed in other videos the fact that as the engine is warming up, the engine oil is getting up to temperature. It's circulating throughout the engine, lubricating all of the components. The viscosity decreases. It gets more slippery, more protective as it warms up. And we really want that in the engine. We want a nice coating of oil all around the engine. We've also discussed the fact that you get fuel dilution when the engine is cold. The metal components have bigger gaps between them. They've not fully expanded and that can lead to blow by escape of fuel and other moisture into the oil, further degrading its ability to lubricate the engine. And we've also discussed how turbochargers should have an opportunity to cool down a little for the oil and the coolant to circulate within the turbo while the engine is still running, just a moment to allow it to cool down. Now, the fact is that you don't suddenly hit a threshold where the car is perfectly fine to drive and up to that threshold, it was not perfectly fine to drive it hard. What we need to adjust to though, is being progressive. So as the engine is warming up, we start to build up the load, the amount of work that we're expecting from the engine. We do that progressively. If we were doing a rule of thumb, for example, and people love rules of thumb, and I hate doing them because there's so many exceptions out there, but let's just discuss a theoretical rule of thumb. For the first 30 seconds of starting the car, Many people would just prefer to let the engine warm up, not to put any load on the engine at all. Once that 30 seconds is over, they will get out and drive it and they will keep the RPM low, probably the bottom third or the bottom quarter of the RPM range. Then after a couple of minutes, you start to see the temperature gauge rising the oil is starting to properly lubricate the engine. Everything is starting to get up to temperature. At this point, it would be perfectly safe to increase your RPM limit. So if you'd limited yourself to the bottom quarter, you might go up a little bit and just do the bottom third of the RPM range. As you get closer and closer to the ideal operating temperature, and it's worth noting that your engine oil is the key thing here, not the water temperature. There are ways of getting oil temperature readings in most modern cars. There's a little hack you can do in the OBD2 port to get that up on the display. And if that's not possible, we can also fit aftermarket gauges, which will give us the information that we need. But the key really is as we start to approach that point, we can start to increase the load and the work that we're requiring from the engine perfectly safely. The mechanical sympathy that we've developed over the years of driving the car show that things do not just change instantly at a set point. It's very progressive and there's a lot of leeway there. So as the engine is warming up, we can progressively start to add more and more load, higher RPM, going at greater speeds, using more torque, more horsepower from the engine at times. And then when we finish driving, we want to do the reverse, probably not as much or not as longer periods, but we want to allow everything to settle, particularly if we have a turbocharged engine. Some people would prefer to just wait 30 seconds before they shut the engine off. Others will drive for five minutes, say, at lower RPM, at low load conditions to give the turbo, the oil and all the metal components in the car time to gently cool down, to contract a little bit back to the optimum range. Please let me know in the comments if you are a progressive driver or whether you you've just waited for the car to be at operating temperature before you've started to drive it even moderately hard. How cautious are you with your engine? How important do you think it is allowing the engine to warm up and cool down before and after we start driving it or even during those early and late stages of driving it? I hope you found this video useful and informative. Please book the like button. That really does help us to get out there. If you've not subscribed, please do so. A lot of our viewers haven't subscribed to the channel yet, so you'll be missing out on the great content we're putting out. You'll get a little notification of all the new stuff that's coming up and I've lined up this video and this playlist that you should find really interesting. Thanks for watching. See you in these next videos.